situation is uh, rather dire but just head through the doors man I'll explain everything in a minute whoa whoa what the systems operating at five percent what is this place Herc what am I doing here look man okay there ain't always a logical explanation of these things sometimes you just find yourself like in a space station with little to no context or backstory, you just gotta fucking roll with it, man. So less questions and more movement, Nicholas, because if you don't save us, we all gonna what? die. What? Me? What the fuck are you talking about? Whoop your ass when I see you. <laughs> Good luck. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's my junk? But as important as the answer is to that question, we got bigger fish to fry. Firstly, let me explain what's going on. You are now on Mars. Welcome. Now, imagine my arms are outstretched to comfort you during said revelation. Why are you on Mars? To save the Earth, man. What from? An alien invasion. Yeah, that's right, man, an alien invasion, Vigo. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. It's not going to be us who are doing the actual saving of Earth. It's going to be mostly Anne. That Anne. The AI super being that Larry Parker would not stop talking about, you remember? Only problem is, man, these aliens took over the entire planet. They messed with her network, man, and she has come undone. Now, we need to get her back, man. So how do we return Anne to this beautiful, majestic, Earth-saving butterfly she once was? By finding energy cores and using them to power up all the terminals in the network, man. It's a simple plan, don't worry. Gotta get moving though, man. There's a couple energy core thingies over yonder, man. I'll show you how this works. Go get them. Energy cores? Alien invasion? What the fuck, Kirk? I didn't ask for this. Look, I'm sorry, man, okay? But you're not the only person whose life has been turned upside down for far-fetched and highly suspect reasons, okay? I mean, look at me. If anyone's a victim here, it's me, the Herkster. Now, I don't want any part of this. I just want to go back to my family. No can do, amigo. We used that last bit of juice to get you up here. Besides, if you don't power up Anne's terminals, you won't have a family to go back to. the way to Mars to turn the power back on? Well, don't say it like that, man. You take all the pizzazz. You Control center restored. 
It worked, see? Nick, this is Ann. Ann, meet my bro Nick. Uh... Hi? Nicholas Rye, you are Earth's last hope. And me too, right? An arachnid force millions of years in the making threatens your world. But with your help, I can stop them. Yeah, Herc filled me in on that part. We turn on the terminals and restore your power and stop the alien invasion. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. Why do you ask? I don't know. It just seems pretty simple for something not so simple. You'd think there'd be more to it. No. It is very straightforward. <clears throat> Okay, man. All systems are a go. Let's get down to business. You're gonna need to be able to defend yourself out here. You see the green barrels around here? Grab what's inside them. Now, I know it just feels like space jizz or something, but this stuff is magic, Miko. Harvest is straight from the air. It makes all sorts of cool shit out here. Space jizz over that 3D printing machine over there, and I'll show you a cool trick. Come on, man. Everyone likes magic. Come Voila! See how that works, man? Space jizz equals firearms. Incredible. Yes. And the more my systems are restored, the more tools I can provide to obliterate any and all life forms who stand in our way. Uh, what do you mean, all life forms? Oh, you'll see when we get outside. We? Yeah, man, I ain't gonna let you haul all the glory for saving the world. This here's a partnership. Now, come on. Grab my head, dude. We got work to do. Man, this is not happening. Get a grip, Nicholas, because your brain's about to go kablooey, man. restore my functionality and help you on your journey. Relax, man. It's just Mars, you know? Wait, 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 man. Stay off that dirt. Space crab, man! Shoot it! Shoot it, please! Don't drop me, man! I'm defenseless! We can't find the other energy cores unless we power the antenna! Fuck me! I gotta climb towers now? Look, man, some stuff ain't as advanced out here as it is in Montana, for which... I apologize, okay? Days of climbing shit was over after I left Kyrat, but here we are, man. Man, I, I 
I totally forgot to mention those space crabs. They live underground. That that one's on me, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. You're sorry? You want to tell me what that was all about? Man, ain't you ever seen Tremors? These space crab dudes, they tear through dirt the exact same way. I'm telling you, man. I hope you got a good look, man, because they're the invaders, OK? They're the ones we need to stop. Anne was telling me they're going to use her technology to invade the Earth and turn all the humans into food. Isn't that crazy? Exactly. Humans will become nothing more than food to sustain the arachnid horde as it spreads through the galaxy. Are you sure? Because, uh, I mean, they don't look all that smart to me. Well, they are. These little bastards, they've been playing keep away with the energy core so Anne can't get back online. So if we're gonna get those energy cores back, you can bet that these little bastards are gonna be all in our face about it. locate other energy cores in this area. Oh man, those two blips right there? That looks like the spot where I was attacked by a big-ass space crab. I am picking up a signal from your gravity belt nearby. It will improve mobility, remove fall damage, and allow you to reach the transference center. No. No way, my space jets are still working, dude! Dude, my space jets are still working! Okay, let's go find them, man! Once you acquire the gravity belt, go to the transference center. What the hell's transference? Transference is the future. It's plugging my consciousness into a robot killing machine like I'm at 209. Transference is the future. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Anne. Oh man, she's been trying to make me forget about finding my human body, so I'll just live life in a robot body. But I got a good feeling, man, I'm staying positive.
Disengaging door lock. Please wait. Oh, dang, is that... Is that my hand? Well, who else's hand would it be, dummy? Fair point, man. I'm just not mentally prepared to accept the possibility that something really bad has happened to my childless dad bod. My scans indicate several more organic anomalies. Oh, come on, you serious? My body's in a bunch of pieces? Oh, man, how are we gonna find them all? With transference, you will gain the ability to detect such anomalies yourself. Yeah.